mission for someone that I do CrossFit with, uh, Darren and his wife Carly, and so they've just had a newborn daughter, and so I'm going to be doing a pet portrait of their dog Duke with their daughter's name Safana on the door sign. So that's what I've got planned for today, so this is where I'm at so far with the preparation. So I've just photoshopped just the key lines of Duke come up with this font from defont.com which they've agreed with. I gave them a choice of seven and so it's going to be a little bit challenging for this nice little broken font but I can either do that with a dry brush or I can do it with a very tiny brush and yeah it's gonna be a nice challenge but I'm sure I can get it as close as possible. But for today I've just got to do the background and then transfer this over on carbon copy paper and yeah enjoy all the layering up of this very small 10 centimeter in height pet portrait but i'm going to be concentrating on getting this painting as i want it so i don't know but i always say i don't know what i'm going to film that ends up being a lot of footage i really like the challenge of having these commissions where it just pushes me out of my comfort zone and i can adapt my style to fit the likeness of what they have in mind Okay, so this is the under layer, and then put on the main colour, and well, you'll see. A lot of paint drying, waiting time, and all that sort of stuff, and it's been quite relaxing actually, uh, listening to music, being in the zone, but yeah, a lot of waiting time, and I'm just hoping that this idea I have is going to work. But I'm really looking forward to actually actually spending some time with this painting, and getting it looking as I want it. At the moment, the material I'm painting on is soaking in the paint a lot, so I'm hoping once I add that other layer of matte medium um, in between, then that should solve that one. So yeah, a few little challenges along the way, a lot of waiting for paint to dry, and we paint soon. And yeah, I've always got paint on my face because of the way I paint, but... It is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a night. It's uh, quarter past eight. Uh, we'll prepare all the little paw marks at home and then add the final coat on and I don't have to wait for the paint to dry yet again. So it was ambitious to do so many coats but this is where we're at this will get covered and yeah you'll see what i'm doing in a moment for you it'll be a few seconds for me a day or two So this should be the fun bit. I decided to go get these because it's more accurate. So I'm gonna be using the masking fluid to bring up the colors that I've already done. Put a background on and then we'll see what happens with how that looks. But I thought I'd add a bit of pink on it. I think that would look a little bit better having the yellow, pink, purple and green. So that's good. It's quite gloomy outside so I'm 
feeling a little bit on the winter tired. It's wonderful to be able to just paint something quite technical and to just lose myself in that. So really looking forward to that, even though I am feeling a bit fragile today. So gonna see how far I get today. And then got this wonderful book by Shreveless, which is on my vlog channel. I'm slowly going through the prompts with that while the paint dries. So I painted the area grey where I'll be doing the painting because I found that I really like working on a grey background, which you will find in the video of the self-portraits. Great. Try the brand I know. Here is going to be a challenge. This is too sticky for the common paper. Yay. Hmm. Well, we'll cross that bridge tomorrow. Yeah. Let's hope this works. It's cold. Why? We line you up again. We find the end again. Looks like we're going in freehand then. Right. No one's going to follow that, so... Ah, okay, here we go again. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't mix this colour, isn't it? So, all jokes aside, there is always something to challenge you in a creative project. Sometimes it goes smoothly, other times there are things like the background, which need multiple attempts to get right. And it's through the years of experience which has really helped me to trust that I can work it out. And actually, that was exactly what I needed in that moment. I had a lot going on that week, and it was just nice to really focus on the background, getting into that sort of meditative space of preparing for it. A few things went wrong, but just being able to overcome it without that creative thought. Then when we got onto the painting, it went super smoothly having done that preparation. And as you will see, I'm very happy with the end result, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Chris. We love Savannah's door sign, and it's a amazing resemblance, as you can see. Whoop. 